an attempt through song and through the readings to draw out of people that which is good, noble, and of high quality in them. And I, and I thought, therefore, it was a, a good linkage of things traditional, things modern. Did the coronation make you nostalgic for your country's links with the monarchy or more determined to move to a new tradition for well, yourselves? Well, during the service, personally, those, those parts of it which required incantation, um, I didn't do those parts. I did the parts which involved the scriptures. For the incantation to the king, no. The, the British monarch is our monarch. We do not swear anymore an oath to his majesty. We swear allegiance to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I would like to see very much a, a severing of this link um, with the British monarch. I, I, I don't accept and I cannot accept that someone who was born in the United Kingdom, grows up in the United Kingdom, lives in the United Kingdom, can be the king of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Would you go as far as saying that you now resent it? The thing about re resentment simpliciter, it can lead you easily to a journey of hatred. And, and the truth is this, that as an individual, I have appreciation, much appreciation for King Charles. Similarly, I'm a proponent of um, reparations for native genocide and the enslavement of African bodies. Um, and he is in favor of a constructive conversation, a mature conversation. What does that process of reparations yes. look like yes. to you and the people yes. of St. Vincent? Well, it's a complicated matter, but the legacies of underdevelopment linked to native genocide and the enslavement of African bodies, that you need to help us in a very special way in doing this repairing. We have to work in a partnership. And by the way, look, Britain made and remade the Caribbean and in the process remade itself. And we from the Caribbean, when I say Britain remade itself, you walk down the streets, you see the results of colonialism and the enslavement of African bodies, the migration. You have a, a British prime minister who is Hindu, an Indian, at least of Indian descent. Part of the argument about reparations is also the idea of apology, yes. of saying sorry. Should the new king apologise directly? Would the British political directorate permit him to apologise? That's an, that's an important question. Would you like to see the Prime Minister apologise? Of course. The Dutch Prime Minister can do it. You want to tell me a European Dutch Prime Minister can do it, but a man of Indian descent can't do it? Ah, I, I would find that strange. Would you expect a, a Prime Minister of Indian heritage to be more forthcoming on this issue? I would expect so. I believe he would have a great understanding of this issue. I'm not in his shoes, so I don't know what are the restraints, what are the constraints. But I'm absolutely sure that he'll have um, a profound understanding of this matter. And does Britain in the end, as more countries move towards it, removing the monarch as head of state, does it become diminished? No, I don't think that diminishes Britain at all. I see tremendous promise and I see the king, the new king, as someone who can nudge 
the efficient side of government. Prime Minister Gonzalez, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you.